Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have another Lego Harry Potter set for you. This one is Hagrid's Hut, An Unexpected Visit. Checking out the box, this one is set 76428, Hagrid's Hut, An Unexpected Visit, ages 8 plus with 896 pieces. It's currently the most expensive Lego Hagrid's Hut we have ever gotten, and it comes with five minifigures and two exclusive molded animals. For that, it is actually really cool and very unique to some other Hagrid's huts that we have gotten in the past, and we'll get into that, um, but that's enough on the box. Before we delve into this, let's go ahead and check out the minifigures as well as the creatures. Starting out first with Hagrid, and he is such a fun, newly printed minifigure. We don't get very many changes in Hagrid's costume, and so it's really nice to see him wearing an apron with some green stains um, from when the the trio surprised him when he was hatching Norbert. Very, very cute. I think great detail. He does have, of course, his original molded body. So there are pockets, but they're not crazy out of place. I mean, his apron technically could have pockets. Uh, and I like seeing that red sweater beneath. But same face as always and same little short legs. And out of the kids, I'll start with the most boring. We get a just generic Draco Malfoy. It would have been nice if they could have given him an exclusive print because he is actually not wearing his school uniform in this scene. I believe he's wearing a sweater under his robe if i'm not mistaken but here we are with malfoy and same facial expressions i'm not even going to flip them around because they are the exact same then we have ron and he looks so cute i love the detail to his sweater to make it look like it's a hand-me-down it definitely looks like it's got some some worn out threads and stuff and it looks really good and is great very accurate to the scene then we have Hermione here, and again, her outfit's kind of plain, but it is accurate to the scene with this like little cardigan and blue shirt underneath. So it's really fun to always get these guys. Since we get the trio so often, it's really nice to get them in exclusive outfits and just an outfit that's specific for one scene. It's pretty fun to kind of see how many different outfits you can get out of them from uh, Lego. It's funny. And then, of course, we have Harry Potter, and I love his sweater. He's got a green cable knit sweater with his collar sticking out. It looks really good. Great attention to detail here. Very similar to kind of his red one, I believe, that he uses at the end of the Sorcerer's Stone. Only that one, I believe, has damage to it in the Lego set because he's kind of torn up and bumped and bruised. But this one's really nice, and I love the green. For exclusive animals, we get our very first printed, exclusively molded Norbert. We've gotten the old dragon, baby dragon piece before, but it is really cool to see Norbert uh, get some special treatment here for Hagrid's hut. And he's a super cute piece. I would not be surprised if we do see this piece elsewhere. If we haven't already, I could be mistaken, but definitely I believe this is new for the coloring here. And he looks great. And then my favorite of this whole set is the brand new Fang. We got a very old Fang in the original Hagrid's Hut and then never again, so it is so nice to see that they gave him an exclusive mold currently. I'm sure they'll reuse it, but he's got a little tail and um, he's really cute. I think that it, this likeness captures him well. He's supposed to be like a Mastiff, so he's really big in comparison to the kids. That's how he's supposed to be, and so I think that it is super fitting. All right, just getting right into how cool this Hagrid's Hut is. Um, it is based exclusively on the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, for example, all of the other Hagrid's Huts that we have gotten in the past have not been based on anything particular, I will say, except for our last one was called, I think it was Hagrid's Hut, Buckbeak's Escape or Buckbeak's Rescue, something like that. And so that one was based on Prisoner of Azkaban. This one is based on the Sorcerer's Stone and they are actually very different sets. And so if you have the old one and you're like, I don't really need to pick this one up, I will show you a comparison because they are significantly different. And of course the choice is up to you. This one is more expensive, uh, but I really, really like it. They have made some fantastic improvements. They've really done some stuff with this Hagrid's Hut that I have wanted them to do for so long. So this first structure that we get is Fluffy's Dog House, and it is based on the movie. So this original Hagrid's Hut from the first Harry Potter movie doesn't have the two sections that we're used to seeing later on. Um, and so the second section, if you will, is a little outhouse um, for Fang, and it is quite uh, built up, I will say. This this uh, takes quite a bit of pieces, but I really like it. Of course, the sand green and gray look really nice. And you can actually fold the top of this like little roof up so you can put Fang in a little better. And it is all smooth in there, which kind of is frustrating because he can slide around. I mean, I would have liked to see like maybe one or two like jumper tiles in there to help hold him in place, but it fits him really well. And you can fit some other stuff in there as well. Like if you wanted to add a spider or something. Um, so a nice little add on. 
And then we have Haggard's Hut and there are two additional like little, um, I guess, outcroppings that you get. One is a tiny pumpkin patch. The other one is a stool for Draco Malfoy to stand and peek through the window. Now I will say that this set, and this has been complained about, this set shows you in the instructions to put the stool on this side, the little barrel, but there is no window to look out of on this side. They really need to be switched. And that's how I plan on displaying them because with this barrel, you can look right into this close window. There's another window towards the back, but I don't know why Lego does that because they really just need to be switched overall. All right, um, we do have some different colored leaves on the outside, a couple of mushrooms that look really nice, some bricking along the entrance to the house and then as well as some some leaves and moss and stuff on the roof which, which looks i think pretty good we have a chimney with the cool little smoke piece that we have seen before in monkey kid as well as hocus pocus and the whole roof lifts off this time so yes it is completely enclosed which actually looks really really cool um, some people will be a fan of this and some people won't be i personally think it looks great there's some great bricking all around and you just simply lift off the roof. It's setting on by a couple of jumper tiles that help hold it on. Um, it's relatively sturdy. It's got some of these old Star Wars pieces on it that are rubber and they kind of bug me because I don't feel like they stay totally flat, but overall it's a very unique design for sure. Um, of course you can look into Haggard's Hut just from the top once you open it, but of course this set is made to open up and play with and it breaks into kind of three little sections. So I'll show you those sections as we go. This first one here has a couple of stickered pieces with some keys for Hagrid, um, a broom, a chair for one of the kids. There is a little cauldron by the fire, which was hatching Norbert, as well as one of our collectible exclusive uh, portraits, which is pretty cool. A pink mug, two little oven mitts, which is such a cute detail. Those are printed tiles and then a printed flame. I will say ever since that one Hagrid's Hut back from like 2010, I think, I feel like Hagrid's Hut should always come with a light brick. That's just me. <laughs> In this center room here, we have a big chair for Hagrid, which is really cool because we, we have never been able to fit Hagrid inside of really any of his furniture before. So the Lego designers did a great job by making a chair big enough to fit Hagrid. We have a little candle, a barrel with his umbrella. That's definitely not a wand inside. Um, a little cupboard and then some another stickered area with details as well as another mug. And then on this final section here, we have another mug, our other little window, a little chair for Ron, Harry, or Hermione, this cracked egg, which Norbert can stand in, and a little cupboard as well as another sticker on the top. And this cupboard holds the other portrait. Um, so you can choose and trade out if you want. Um, and I like that it comes with two. I think that that's really cool. Um, overall, it just, it's so good. I really, really like this. You can close it up and fit everybody inside if you want. And it's just really, really cool. Um, so that being said, let's go ahead. I'm gonna put this back together and I'm gonna show you just a quick direct comparison to the most recent Haggard set we've got, just in case you're wondering if this new one is something that you should pick up if you already have the old one. All right, so just showing you what the other Haggards, the most recent Haggard's hut looks like in comparison so you can see the difference. And I've literally just taken this one right off my shelf. So it's kind of preset up. It comes with this large extra. And this one's based obviously on the Prisoner of Azkaban, so they're not gonna be the exact same. But just taking away this section for a moment, and then we'll go ahead and take Fang's little hut away, just so you can kind of see the bare bones differences between them. Um, obviously, this um, new one is actually larger in terms of scale, and the old one we have the secondary little building, which I think looks nice. I mean. I'm not going to do like a total complete comparison, but I definitely think that the roof on this new one is much more accurate. They definitely had to scale down this Hagrid's hut so that it didn't get too big and wasn't affordable. But I definitely think that there is a really big difference. Um, if you can't already tell, this one is open backed and it's got the two rooms versus the new one that is totally rounded. And then you can take it, you can open it up. Um, there's definitely more playroom in the new one, I believe. Um, you're not blocked off by the roof and trying to fit characters down back here where your hands won't fit. This is the same chair, but obviously Hagrid can't fit in it, which I think is a great improvement with this one here. Um, I do like that you can put things in the rafters, which kind of helps clutter up Hagrid's hut, kind of how it's supposed to be, in my opinion. 
and uh, yeah, there. This one was important because you kind of needed the back door and the spare room. But overall, it just I don't think compares to this new one. This new one is a lot more inviting and friendly and warm. And there's a lot of sticker detail versus this other one just has um, kind of clutter in it and it doesn't seem particularly homey. There is a little tribute to the first uh, first year Hagrid's hut with the egg down in the fireplace there. But that's basically it. That's all you get. Um, this one is nicer because it's flush. You know, obviously you can display it closer to the wall if you need to. But I definitely think that this new one has just such a fun charm and just looks so much warmer and more friendly and perhaps it is the movie that it comes from that helps that along. But overall, um, that's that. I just wanted to give you guys that quick little comparison of the differences. They are very significant. Plus, we definitely get uh, different minifigures. Obviously, the first, this new one's based in year one, and the older one is based in year three. But there you are, guys. Uh, that is the little uh, comparison. All right, everybody. So that is basically the review. I definitely really, really love this new hut. The old one, the original one is really good, but I am so excited to have something fresh to throw up on my, um, basically my Hogwarts shelf, if you will. And I think that this is a great improvement and the Lego designers have made it so different from anything that we've seen before, but following still a very nostalgic, like round hut. I really like it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, thanks so much for tuning in.